bison may be important engineers of the prairie, but what could transform this into this? Prairie dog towns definitely aren't hard to spot. You can pick them up just driving around the road or even from the air. It's because they look a lot different than the surrounding landscape. One of the first things you notice about any prairie dog town are the mounds. That elevated mound provides them with a lookout. Prairie dogs are absolutely the ultimate in obsessive lawn keepers. They come out onto the prairie and chew off any bit of the vegetation that's over six, eight inches tall. And that's so they can see out, so they can watch for predators. The mounds themselves are bringing up soil from deep down below the surface. And as they bring the soil up to the surface, what they're doing is turning the soil plowing the prairie and bringing nutrients that otherwise wouldn't be at the surface right up to the surface. As the town shifts, the nutrients from deep within the soil will be cycled all around this prairie. But if you haven't figured it out by now, it also ain't too hard to figure out where a prairie dog mound is because have a look at the beauty that's everywhere around me right now. This is just an unbelievable huge meadow full of scarlet globe mallow. This plant is only one of the plants that's very tightly associated with prairie dog towns. We also find a plant out here called fetid marigold. Uh, it has a really, to me, it's a sweet smell. Fetid means stinking like rotten meat, but to me, it doesn't smell like that at all. It's an incredible little plant that is also called prairie dog weed. That's another reason these prairie dogs are important. They provide a habitat out here that's different from the surrounding landscape. Open, barren soil and lots of light and no competition from taller plants make this a place where you find <laughs> an incredible array of wildflowers. Without the prairie dog towns, we lose that diversity. Without the prairie dog towns, we lose the churning of the soil. So prairie dogs, like it or not, are a keystone and a foundation of prairie ecology. Just like the bison, when they graze the grass and fertilize the prairie, they also increase the nitrogen. That's why bison like to eat here, and also why pronghorn are often in town. 